Hi guys, Alec Pierce from Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips, and here we are back at Simcoe Diving. Yeah, Lake Simcoe, Barry, up in central Ontario. Make sure you drop in. Great little store, nice, nice people. And look, this is this is their air fill area. Small compressor, big compressor, Haskell. Uh, uh, a hydro test station. No dive stores have hydro test station. These guys are great. Lots of air, nitro, everything. If you're a scuba diver and you want something, you come to Simcoe Diving. They'll have it for you. But anyway, uh, this is another one of those silly things that I do once in a while in response to a, a viewer's request. So a viewer a little while ago said, Ali, what happens if you drop a scuba tank? And, and you know, that's not a question. That's not in the book. There's no textbook that tells you what happens when you drop a scuba tank. Now, the textbooks will tell you, don't drop it. Don't drop your scuba tank. Certainly, and this is true, you don't want to drop a scuba tank that's full of air, because that's, that's a different story entirely. That, that's got nothing to do with the scuba tank, but if it lands on the valve and breaks the valve, but, uh, you know, you've seen a Poseidon rocket take off, right? Anyway, that's a different story. But just the scuba tank itself, you drop a scuba tank onto a hard surface, what happens? Again, the books all say, don't do it, don't do it. But they don't tell you what happens. This is Ali Pierce Scuba. Watch. I have a steel tank. Kevin's steel tank. It's pink, right? And I have a, an aluminum tank. Now, for the record, these tanks have failed. These tanks are no good. They failed visual. Uh, so they're no good tanks. I'm not too worried about hurting them. But let's see what happens. You have to watch, you have to watch two things. You have, to, you have to note two things. One, you watch. Watch what happens to the tank when it hits the cement. What happens to it? Does it thud like a piece of plasticine or does it bounce like a rubber ball? Watch. And the second thing you're going to note is the sound. Yeah, there's a difference in sound. Okay, here we go. You show me a textbook that tells you what happens when you drop a scuba tank. I would like to see that. I don't think it's in there. So you, Alec Pierce scuba viewers, you actually get to see this. Here we go. Steel tank first. I gotta get it up in the air first. <sighs> Give me a break, I'm in my 70s. Here we go. Steel tank dropped from four feet onto cement. You ready? <laughs> Holy jumping. Okay, did you see those two things? Two things. Two things you had to note. One, what happened to the tank? If you notice, when that tank hit, it bounced. No, it didn't bounce like a rubber ball, but it didn't thud like plasticine. It actually bounced a couple of times. And secondly, what did you hear? Bing, 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 bing. It sounded like church bells. Have you been to Canterbury, England, when they put those bells on? Yeah. Church. Ding, 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 ding. Vibrations, yeah. Whew. Okay, number two. Oh, by the way, the tank's fine. Sure, it's a steel tank. Steel doesn't dent. Not easily. It would take a much, much bigger drop than that to hurt the steel. Okay, here we go. You ready this time, Kevin? Last time Kevin jumped. Did you see the jump in the camera there, folks? Here we go. Aluminum. Aluminum 80. Dropped on cement from four feet. Here we go. You ready, Kevin? You ready this time? Here we go. Did you notice a difference? It hit the cement, jumped a little wee bit, dead. It didn't boo 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 boo. Hit the cement, little vibration, dead. It's aluminum. Aluminum is different from steel. Aluminum does not have the elasticity of steel. So when it hits something, it stops. Steel hits something, gives, bounces back, bounces back, bounces back. And what about the sound? Well, there was a sound, all right, a loud metallic sound. Crack! Over. Not like the steel. Vibrations. Bing, 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 bing. And there's a third difference as well. Now I dropped this particular tank almost straight down on this side. I don't see any real problems. I don't see a problem there. Uh, Chris, the store owner and the hydro test station operator, a government license expert, 
he can check this with a straight edge. My point is this, if I had dropped this on the corner, either end, it would have dented it. That's right. Even though the aluminum metal is much thicker, a half an inch, as opposed to a quarter of an inch, the aluminum will dent. That's right. Aluminum is different metal entirely, doesn't vibrate, absorbs shock, and dents. You could drop this tank and you'll come up with a nice round dent on it. So there's some differences, first of all, between the two, and most importantly, now Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips viewers have seen what happens when you drop a scuba tank. Hope that was fun. I enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye-bye.